isn't a 31st in June. It ends at 30. I find it odd that there are certain months in the year where the 31st disappears. Certain months where I couldn't use the excuse of the 31st to mourn you. To allow myself the comfort of going through your pictures or listening to your voice, an absolute act of catharsis. I paid in the pain that the rain strip away all the bravado and built around me. On the 31st, I am a little girl again, just really missing her dad. I call mom saying I miss him too. The gap they leave is the love that breaks. I feel the pain searing through my being. Words built, tears shed. Oh, another month we have lived without you. Thank you. <laughs> this one's about uh, relationship anxieties and kind of how I process it. It's something I wrote recently. Fear has made my body its home. It is comfortable and rude. Already at my door at the crack of dawn. Manners long forgotten after years of acquaintance. It is family. Familiar in the way you know exactly what you're in for. The anticipation of the feeling is sometimes worse than the feeling itself. Fear has made my body its home. It lays its hat on my heart. Weighs so heavy I couldn't breathe. I couldn't sit still, couldn't keep my thoughts steady enough for a cup of coffee or oats. I skip breakfast entirely. No need to feed something that is jumping so frantically. Fear has made my body its home. I sprint, 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off, eyes planted on the clock. Deep breaths, self suit, waiting for the other shoe to drop. No amount of lo-fi beats can drown out this beast. I can feel it lingering. Sinking its teeth into flesh, an echo chamber of thoughts. This love, warm, fuzzy, and kind. This love, what if it doesn't last? What if it breaks and leaves? Or worse, fades away like a morning dream. Fear seizes my body whole. I can hear it growling, vigilance planting doubt. Every act now a potential threat. Fear does not care about the facts. It grows louder the more I bury it. Spins faster every time I say I'm okay and fail to believe it. I am exhausted resisting, rationalizing, chasing, denying this part of me that's human. It's primal, surviving, survival. So instead, I say, welcome. Thank you for coming. Stay as long as you need. Here, meet my lover. He holds my hand as we meet fear. He listens, reassures me easily. I love you, calm, convincing, grounding me in reality. Fear leaves us in peace, not a hero, just human, this man, and this love, warm, fuzzy, and calm. Thank you.